once we've decided that, hey, that's possible, it's like, what size, right? Um, it's bigger is better, deeper is better. And that's not the case at all. Um, so let me tell you um, that, that we're very passionate about making this thing part of the land, right? If you're watching this video and you just drive around, wherever you are, whatever state you're in, you can drive around and you'll see you know, these, these ponds that look just perfect, right? They fit in with the landscape and, and usually those are lakes. Um, and I'll go into in another segment the difference and some of the nomenclature and all that. But typically you'll see these things that look amazing and then you'll see these things that you know that were kind of forced on the land, right? Um, so if you go to our gallery and you look on our website, you'll see that, you know, all of our ponds look like they should be there with the exception of a few swimming ponds that we built. Um, but all of them look like part of nature, right? So we use the elevations, we do a lot of grading and, uh, and a lot of after work to really make these things look incredible. So the sizing of your pond, I think the four big topics under this are size should be, number one is size should be relative to the property that you own, right? Um, we, get, we get a lot of customers that are like, we need a one acre pond and you know, they have five acres. Well, that's quite a bit of water on a five acre property. And usually what we do is we go in and we do some renderings on a Zoom call um, and uh, they see that a half acre and a three quarter acre is, is probably, three quarter acre would probably be the right size. I'm not saying that you can't have a, an acre pond on a five acre plot. Don't, don't hear me say that. Um, that's just a lot of property that you're eating up. So relative to size, you wanna stay you know, and half to three quarter acre, um, maybe a little more than a three quarter acre if you're stretching it, if you've got a really nice place. But size should be relative to the land that you own. Um, it also should be relative to the property lines. Um, that's a tricky one because we get a lot of long, straight property lines that are sometimes, you know, 2,000 feet wide and 4,000 feet long, or, you know, you get your super wide properties. It's, it's all relative to how the land um, how, how it can be contained, right? And how it will look based on the elevations. So if we go in, you know, I think, I think one of the biggest things that most people do is they go in um, with um, the, the, the thought of, well, I want this much water and I want this much surface area. Um, and, and I would say most of the time uh, during our onsite consultations, um, we, we size down. And the reason why we size down, I think number one is for budget. And number two is just because of how big it is on the property. So that's, that's, that's number one for a reason. I'm super grateful for the time. Um, I'm super grateful for you and the opportunity to share something that we're completely passionate about. And always, let's dream up something together.